Hey everybody! So today I'm going to compare the silver nail polishes that I own and this video was totally inspired by OPI Designer Series Radiance which is what you're looking at. I had talked a little bit about this in yesterday's haul video. OPI Designer Series has diamond dust in the polishes and it just makes them a little more brilliant and sparkly and shiny and beautiful. Now you do pay a little bit more for that because their polishes are normally around $9. These are $12.50. I get them at cost cutters at around $11 instead, so I save a little bit. But they are beautiful. I have three of them now and hopefully I will have some more at some point in the future. We shall see. So. The first thing I thought of when I got this is I wonder how this is going to compare to Chanel Graphite, which had been my favorite polish of all time. But as you can see, the OPI one is lighter and brighter and not as dark as the Chanel Graphite is. And I have some swatches. Okay, so this one, this is the um, OPI one right here and then that's Chanel Graphite, so it is definitely darker. I would say that I actually like the OPI one better. So I have a new favorite <laughs> because it, it is lighter and brighter and I don't know, I just, I like it better. So, what else have I got for silver polishes? I have that Fnoog polish called Psychedelic that my friend June had sent me and uh, this is from Denmark and I do have to uh, mention about this there's an aqua base coat that you're supposed to use under this which I did when I had done that video about this polish but I wanted to see what would happen if I didn't use if I didn't use that and okay this is it right here and you still get a little bit I'm trying to show you okay there it is can you see that you still get a little bit of the holographic effect even when you don't use the aqua base coat so if you have run out of that and you're freaking out um, don't because you'll still get a little bit of that holographic effect whether you use the aqua base coat or not and you can also use um, something else instead I have heard I have not tried it but I have heard that if you use sesh Vite top coat as a base coat that you can increase the holographic imagery of these polishes so that's something to keep in mind and the other thing I want to tell you about this now that I've had more time to play with it is uh, unfortunate and that is don't expect these polishes to last on your nail after two days big chunks of it just fell right off my nails and I had on a base coat and a top coat so unfortunately they don't hold up well over time and I wasn't exceptionally rough on my nails or anything like that during those two days but it just falls off in big chunks after a couple of days but it is probably the most gorgeous polish I've ever seen. Um, but as far as my all-time favorite polish, I'm going to have to go with the OPI in Radiance now because it has beauty, but it also has the quality and the staying power to last and is easy to apply. Okay, next is going to be... Maybelline Color Show Petal to the Metal. And by the way, you guys, I used one thick coat to do these swatches because I, I just wanted them all to be the same and I wanted you to see which ones were more or less opaque. So this is Maybelline Color Show Petal to the Metal. And I really like these polishes. They're very inexpensive. They're like five bucks. You can get them at Walmart or most drugstores, so it's convenient. And I really like the color selection on these. They just have a lot of really great colors to choose from. And the formula is not bad. So, yeah, I don't hear people talk about these too much, but I really like them. 
Okay, next is going to be Revlon in, this is uh, the like original formula and the color is Silver Screen. And where's my swatch for that? Okay, that's going to be this one here. And that's what it looks like. I'm having a really hard time getting good lighting today. I actually already filmed this video <laughs> before and I had to wait a little bit later for the sun to come back around this side of the house. But anyways, um, Revlon Silver Screen. This one I would say I'm not going to recommend because you can see brush strokes when you if if you really look at it like really closely under certain lighting you can see a lot of brush strokes brush strokes so i'm going to say you know you might want to skip on that one but you know it's it's a pretty color a better option if you like revlon is the revlon color stay in sequin and this one is this this one right here it's a little bit darker but if you haven't tried the Revlon Colorstay polishes yet, they are very, very good quality. They also make a really good base coat and top coat. So I do definitely recommend these. And they don't have a ton of colors, but what they do have is pretty nice. And this is probably my favorite out of the bunch. But then, I love silver. <laughs> okay, let's see, what have we got next? Uh, Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Tie in the Knot. And this is this one right here. This is the darkest silver I own. This is kind of like a gunmetal type color. And these are kind of middle of the road for me. I don't love them. I don't hate them. They're like average and okay. But if you like a more of a gunmetal silver rather than a light color, this is a, a good match for somebody who likes gunmetal. So that's Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Tie in the Knot. Next up is Wet n Wild Magnetic Polish, and this is called Bad for Credit Cards. And this one is, let's see. this one. You know, it's funny, with these magnetic polishes, I went so crazy over them when I first started using them, and then I just kind of got away from them and started trying other things, and I realized today when I was filming this video earlier that I, I really do enjoy the magnetics, and I think the Wet n Wild ones are the best deal, because they're not as expensive as a lot of the others. The magnet is good, it's nice and strong, and it's easy to use. So if you have not tried a magnetic polish yet, I would have to recommend these based on all that information. Okay, next is going to be the Blue Cross Snowman polish. And this one is right here. These are kind of thin in formula, um, but they're very, very inexpensive, and how cute is that? I mean, you know, I bought them in every color, lined them up on a shelf, and they made adorable Christmas decorations, and of course when Christmas is, was over, I just moved them back in to where I keep my nail polish, but you do need like two to three coats with these, so it's going to take you some time. But the quality of the polish is actually very good. It's just thin. So I do recommend these. Okay, next is Essie Carnival. And this one is right here, which you won't really be able to see it. And because I shouldn't have included this in this video, because this is a top coat. It's a glittery top coat, or shimmery top coat, I should say. It's not chunky glitter. It's very uh, refined micro shimmer. And um, I guess the reason why I wanted to include it is because it is so gorgeous. But you can't see that in the swatch because 
it needs to be put over something else. Um, but I just, I wanted to mention it and show it because it is an awesome polish, but it's not really being shown to its few, to its full beauty in my swatch. But, um, yeah, I, I definitely recommend that. It's, it's gorgeous. Milani PC Girl. That is this one right here. This is one of those nice liquid metal foil type silvers. And I like this a lot. I, I like Milani in general. And I don't hear people talk about this brand a lot. I think it's very underrated. And um, I think for what you get for the price, it's a really, really good products all the way around. Um, what can I say about this? You can find Milani at CVS, Kmart and some Walgreens. And I guess that's about all I have to say about my silver nail polishes here. Now all the other swatches that you see on this wheel, those are from a uh, purple nail polish video either that I did or I'm going to do. I can't really remember. You know, I've got like 600 videos or something like that, you guys. So sometimes it's hard to remember. I'll do like the swatches and prep work for a video, and then I can't remember if I've done the video or not. So I'll have to look that up and see if I did do that purple nail polish video. But that is my video about silver nail polishes, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.